thank you everybody for joining in this webinar another sat another saturday and we have another very very interesting webinar session lined up um i am webhav chief business officer at grip and the host for this webinar and as you can see we have a very esteemed guest today for our webinar on the panel uh she's mrs padmaja reddy she is the founder and md of kirtana and we will just come back to her because there's so much to speak about her experience her um uh, yeah her wide perspective on the industry and then of course the fam familiar faces nikhil the founder and ceo of grip and siddharth the chief investment officer at grip um starting on as you can see uh, as we are doing webinar after webinar this is not just and i'm like very happy to say that it's not repeat sessions of opportunities but is just that we are launching new products every week and so we have now done eight leasex opportunities where we all started all of you uh, grip investors showed a lot of love support encouragement for that we spoke about invoicex which was the securitization of trade receivables in our last webinar and today we are talking about another new product which is called loanex and it is a secure it is securitization of a uh, of a new asset class brought to you by grip for individual investors um before we delve deeper into what loanex is here from mrs padmaja i will turn to nikhil to just you know give us a brief recap and seems like grip is on a roll so what's what's cooking what's brewing uh, thanks above and and once again mr reddy thank you for taking out time um i think our experience at grip counts nothing for the the rich uh, experience you've had in the financial services industry but maybe a quick introduction or a recap of grip for for everyone who's logged in um we have you know first of all we are very excited to have crossed the threshold for 700 crores in investments facilitated over the last 3 years um and this has been done through an incredibly diversified set of investment opportunities and many innovations in the alternative investment industry we'll be talking to you about the newest one um and we're you know i'm glad to see that we're running out of space on this page um right from the time that we started grip we've always tried to innovate the product uh in terms of being able to offer smaller ticket sizes and different underlying asset classes that are available to retail investors we obviously began our journey with lease financing which is our most popular product but were able to soon expand it into inventory finance commercial real estate startup equity over the last 12 months as weber mentioned we have transformed that into a sebi regulated product which is also rated and listed under leasex introduced invoicex earlier this month and now now introducing loanex we're very excited to be bringing this product and some of the early traction we have seen is very encouraging for us to keep doubling down all right great uh, before we move forward i would like to turn to mrs padmaja reddy thank you for joining in thank you for taking the time uh, it is really our honor to host you on this webinar for our for us and for our investors uh, i i don't think your name needs a lot of introduction but it's still uh if you could just talk about your background and then maybe introduce kirtana i would just start with uh, a very very rich experience padmaja holds about over two and a half decades of experience in the industry founder and md of kirtana ex founder and md of spandana sphurti a lot to talk about but madam if you can just take over from here yeah thank you nikhil uh, for the opportunity uh, to uh, speak on this uh, webinar uh, so i will give you a quick uh, introduction about uh, kirtana finser and also about my experience uh, kirtana finser is an nbfc uh, so we acquired this nbfc last year in april 2022 and uh, we have grown it uh, uh, since then like to over 800 crore as we speak today um so kitana has three verticals like it offers gold loans it also offers msme and also group loans prior to starting uh, kitana uh, so i as you mentioned um i promoted uh, spandana sporty financial limited 
so it is one of the largest microfinance institutions in India. Um, uh, so it got into CDR like post AP crisis, uh, but again, um, I was able to pull it out like from CDR and repay like every single rupee loan that we have taken uh, in Spandana and once again grew that organization to the second largest MFI in India. So I was the managing director for that uh, for 24 years. Uh, from uh, from the date of uh, starting like in uh, 2003 to 2021. Uh, uh, so after leaving Spandana like from the executive role, um, so we acquired Kirtana. So it used to be called as Rajeshree Trackam Limited. Uh, so while uh, we were planning to start a gold loan business and we realized that like uh, we need a vehicle to start gold loans, like that is how Rajeshree was acquired. Uh, so, but again, uh, before acquiring this, like we, uh, while uh, once like idea comes, like we were not able to hold it till we get an NBFC. So we started doing business like from one of the trust and uh, we built like almost a 200 crore portfolio um, in five months time. And after acquiring this NBFC, we transferred the 200 crore gold loan portfolio to um, the Keaton of Insert. Uh, so as I mentioned, like we offer uh, various products to low income and low middle income segment, like in rural area. Uh, so we are completely averse in terms of uh, doing uh, our business in urban areas because urban areas are overly penetrated. There are number of players, and uh, uh, so I think like everybody is completely over leveraged. Uh, so in order to avoid that risk, like we are totally focused on rural areas. Uh, so, and the focus is on um, the low income segment because that is where like uh, the penetration of banking is very, very low. Um, so, since like we have the uh, knowledge in terms of understanding their livelihoods and uh, analyzing their incomes, and uh, um, uh, we always like this is a great opportunity of working with this particular segment. Uh, so, apart from gold loans, like we also offer uh, individual business loans and also micro lab and also group loans. Um, uh, so, as we speak today, like we are present in uh, uh, six different states. Uh, so, we recently expanded to Varisa and uh, we have presence in 35 districts and 225 operating branches. Um, so, in the last one year, like uh, while we started with 200 crore, uh, so the portfolio has grown by almost like 300 percent. Uh, so, we are little over 810 crore. And um, recently, like we had an opportunity of doing securitization uh, with Grape. I think, like I would like to stress, while uh, in the last one year, uh, so we have onboarded uh, almost 34 lenders. Uh, so we raised borrowings like uh, I think the till date like we have raised almost uh, 850 crore from 32 or 34 different lenders. Uh, but again, like the transaction that we have done with Grip, uh, um, uh, like it's a uh, listed PTC. Uh, I think like compared to term loans, compared to NCDs, like uh, the PTC uh, comes with an advantage because like uh, you are buying a pool and uh, the pool is like selected from the overall portfolio. Uh, so when like somebody is choosing the pool, like because this uh, whatever 20 crore securitization that we have done, it was selected from overall like 800 crore. Uh, so one can understand like uh, how best is that particular pool and uh, like uh, when uh, the investor is selecting the pool uh, so they always look for like diversification uh, so and, and and again like the 20 crore pool that we have securitized uh, through grip um, so while like it has 2481 loan accounts uh, so uh, it, and and the loans are given in three different states and like we covered about 18 uh, districts uh, so no district is like more than 20% uh, of the overall. So it's uh, geographically like very well diversified. And then and again, like uh, the bureau check was done and uh, the select pool uh, doesn't have like any borrower whose credit score is like below 650. So in a way, like uh, it is diversified across. Um, and then and again, like there is a seasoning. Uh, so like these borrowers, by now, like they have already paid six installments, and like there was absolutely no delay. Uh, forget about like non-payment, but like there is not even one hour delay in terms of payment. Uh, so I think like um, from the perspective of uh, geographical diversification, and and, and again, these loans are uh, given to individuals, 
and there is a thorough cash flow analysis done. Uh, so, but uh, if I compare like the securitization paid with the term loan paid with NCD, the investor doesn't have a choice in terms of selecting the pool. Uh, so it is, uh, the pool is given subsequent to uh, receiving funds. So the investor doesn't really get an opportunity in terms of uh, selecting the pool, analyzing the pool, and like he will not have a say. So that way, I think um, the risk is like totally mitigated here. There is absolutely no possibility in terms of uh, these loans like going bad at all. Um, I think like uh, thanks to GRIP like uh, for uh, getting investors and doing this listed PTC, uh, which I hope that uh, investors would really like it. And uh, uh, so when it comes to like the financial performance, uh, so as I said, like we started our operations in uh, April 2022. Um, uh, so we broke even in the very first month. I think like from the start of the operations, efficiency has been uh, given as a kind of uh, uh, importance. And like we broke even in the first month. And uh, last year uh, on a 600 crore portfolio, so we made a 22 crore patch. And this year, like uh, in the first quarter, like uh, uh, YOY basis, Last year, first quarter, we made two crore pad, and uh, this year, first quarter, we made uh, 12 crore pad. Uh, so the pad has grown by almost like six times um, uh, compared with uh, last year and this year. Um, so overall, like the revenue model is such that uh, we are making 28% yield, and our cost of borrowing is uh, 12%. This is on the portfolio. So 28 minus 12, like we have 16% name net interest margin. And then our operating cost is 6%. When we started last year, um, while we started with gold loans, gold loans, like uh, it has high capex and high opex. Uh, so the operating cost was 9%. But again, during the last 15 months, we were able to bring it down to 6%. So 16% minus 6%, like it's a 10% pre-tax ROA and post-tax ROA is uh, almost like 7%. And uh, so far, like we have leveraged uh, the business by 3.3 times. And uh, last quarter, like our ROE was 23%. And while we are looking at increasing the leverage this year uh, to four times, I think our ROE expectation is 28%. Um, and uh, this year, like by March, we are looking at building our AUM to 1500 crore. And uh, as I already mentioned, that like we have expanded to Barisa. Um, uh, so and I, I just wanted to uh, to interrupt and say that I wish I could report these numbers, the same kind of numbers to our shareholders. They would be very happy. Uh, but that's the but that's that's amazing to and you know credit to your background that you've been able to do all of this with incredible speed. Um, as well as with in, with very good uh, operating metrics and profitability metrics in such a short period of time, I think that's what makes uh, you know the first Lonex partnered with your NBFC at Kitana even more exciting for us in bringing this to our investors. And I, I do want to come back to some of the questions that you mentioned about the securitization because I think they're very important for people to differentiate between a typical NCD or corporate bond and a and a securitization PTC, uh, but if you if you don't mind, let us uh, we'll give a brief introduction to LoanX and then come back to that question, so people will be so that the users will be able to connect the dots better. I hope that's okay. Yeah, yeah, that is fine. That is yeah. fine. Sure. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the elaborate introduction, and you know we went into the metrics of Kitana as well, and also you spoke about important points like PTCs versus term loans and. NCDs, the diversification of this pool, the seasoning of this pool. But I also wanted to take a step back and maybe first talk about for our general investors on what this opportunity is. And then I will definitely come back to you uh, for each of these points. So Nikhil, can you just introduce the opportunity and then we will come back to these points? Absolutely. Um, you know, let me run you through how a, a loan X transaction is actually constructed and there are you know, four very simple steps. As all of us are aware, NBFCs like Kirtana, uh, which for the purpose of this conversation, we're using the word originator, give out loans to a large number of borrowers. In the case of Kirtana, these could be gold loans or these could be loans again to MSMEs. And against these loans, there is a payment of principal and interest that is received by the NBFC on a monthly basis. 
this is step one, and this is what Kitana and other NBFCs do on a on a very regular basis. Step two A is the assignment of these very loans to a trust, and this is not just any trust or a trust that is managed by GRIP, but this is actually a trust that is managed by a SEBI regulated trustee, uh, and this is created solely for for the purpose of this transaction. Along with the assignment of the loans, the monthly payouts of both principal and interest. that are to be received by kitana are also assigned to the trust as ma'am explained out of the 800 crore loan book 20 crores in this transaction is the assignment of loans that happens to this trust kitana continues to act as a servicer for this loan given that it is the it is the nbfc that has originally originated it step 2b and this is a very important aspect which differentiates loan x to all other uh products that are in the market including a question that i saw on the p2p uh product is then is a security package which is provided by by the nbfc that is kitana to the trust this con consists of three comp components a cash collateral think of it like a cash security deposit and over collateralization which means that if 100 rupees of loans are purchased 112 or 115 rupees of loans are provided to the trust and excess interest spread which is the difference between the interest charged by kitana and the assigned to the trust these three factors act as a security feature for investors finally the last step you as an investor are able to purchase units of this trust and in return get interest and principal on a monthly basis all of these security features cash collateral over collateralization and eis are also available to you as part of a security package grip acts as a curator to this transaction working very closely with kitana working closely with uh, several other stakeholders including rating agencies trustee and the listing and the stock exchange for the listing purposes these three steps constitute what a loan x is and give you an investor access to a pool of loans covered by a security package provided by the nbfc in this case kitana all right um so coming back madam when like madam was saying right that these are these are two different ways of raising capital for an nbfc they can either issue bonds or ncds or term loans or they can go this securitization route uh, or the ptc structure so madam like how do you see both of these uh, both of these structures coexisting and then of course you touched about some similarities and differences on that and and just a second part to that question what has your experience been with the performance of these selected pool of ptcs uh, sure and <clears throat> uh, we keep raising funds like uh, through term loans uh, that is a uh, uh, quite standard uh, term loans from banks and nbfcs and also like uh, we are also raising funds through ncds and now like uh, in the last 2 to 3 months like we have done quite a few securitization transactions as well uh, so if i have to see the difference between these three instruments uh, uh, the way that like term loan works is for example uh, let me take uh, one of the lenders like kotak mahindra bank is a lender to us uh, so like uh, they will do their own due diligence and then like uh, they uh, give us a sanction for like say 50 crore um so we will receive that 50 crore and then use that 50 crore to disburse loans across our branches and like uh, uh, from the date of receipt till we disburse 50 crore those loans like uh, the funds which are being used for on lending those loans are assigned to kotak mahindra bank as book debt uh, so here like kotak mahindra bank doesn't have any say in terms of like uh, uh, choosing the book debts uh, so the book debts are like just on the basis of uh, uh, the period like uh, after uh, uh, during when these loans are disbursed like these loans are uh, uh, assigned to kotak mahindra bank uh, so and then and again like that particular pool um, is not rated and like it is not uh, checked and it is not seized so basically like uh, they look at like the previous uh, portfolio uh, which the company has been managing and like if that portfolio is uh, doing good like because it is an assumption 
that like this particular pool also will perform better. And that is how like uh, a call is taken uh, by lender when it comes to term loan. And when it comes to NCDs, of course, like uh, yeah, while in the first example, we have raised money um, uh, from a bank. And when it comes to NCD, here like the same kind of facility is being raised uh, from retail. But however, like in securitization transaction that we are talking about, like in Lonex, uh, there is a grip like uh, who is uh, working as a, acting as a curator. Similarly for NCDs also, like we have a few arrangers like who help us in terms of raising money from uh, the retail. Uh, so, but in terms of like in NCD also, uh, we receive money, like money is raised from retail. Uh, so they will get debentures uh, and uh, uh, the money like whatever that we receive. Uh, so that is used for on lending to the customers. So in this transaction also, uh, like there is no say in terms of like which pool uh, that uh, they want to take, which pool like uh, they do not want to take. And then and again, like it's more institutional rating and it is not a pool rating. So when it comes to securitization, uh, so these loans are already disbursed by us. Uh, so, but again, like these loans already disbursed, but not assigned to any bank. So how come that like we have not assigned these loans to any bank? Because, uh, so if you look at like our portfolio, we have 800 crore AUM and out of 800 crore, 600 crore is funded by banks, NBFCs and uh, NCDs investors and 200 crore is funded by shareholders. Like we have our own shareholders money which is called net worth in the company. So even this net worth is also used uh, to deploy or to create portfolio. So basically like uh, there is always like a portfolio which is created from borrowed funds and there is always a portfolio which is created from shareholder funds. So whenever there is an opportunity in terms of securitization, so we look at portfolio which is not assigned to any bank because if a portfolio is already assigned to your bank, I cannot securitize that portfolio because that portfolio doesn't belong to me. That portfolio is assigned to Kotak Mahindra Bank, our industry bank, our mass financial, like uh, whoever is the lender who has given us money, who has funded that portfolio. So here, like it comes, the portfolio which is created uh, from shareholders funds, which is not assigned to anyone. So, and uh, at, so when the investor like has to choose the pool, uh, so we share like the entire pool, which is not hypothecated to any lender. So in this case, like uh, to grip also, we have given uh, while like they have sec we have done securitization of twenty crore, but like when the initial pool is shared, it is almost like a ten times of uh, what they have uh, securitized. Uh, so we might have told them that like we have 200 crore portfolio. So they had the choice of uh, choosing the product. Uh, so like they can tell us that we want only the golden portfolio or like we want only the MSME portfolio or like we want only the group loan portfolio. So one like uh, here the investor has a choice in terms of like which product that they want. And then, and then like once they say that, yes, like we want MSME portfolio, then like the MSME portfolio, which is not assigned to any lender is shared with the grip. So then like they will use their own criteria. So more in most often, I think like they always make sure that because uh, for example, like in the last 15 days, in few states, like uh, uh, we experienced the floods and uh, it was a continuous rain. Uh, so because of which like the repayments sometimes might really get uh, impacted. So in order to address that particular issue, so investors like they always look for diversification because like okay. floods will not happen like in every state. Uh, so the pool that like uh, which is uh, selected by GRIP, it is diversified across states, across districts, across villages. Uh, so while like we have securitized 2,400 loans, and uh, this, these loans are given in almost like 18 districts and three states. Uh, so it's a, uh, completely diversified. And, and again, like they have done the bureau check once again, uh, 
Uh, so, and uh, only borrowers like whose bureau check is above 650, which means like they're not new to the credit. So they have taken multiple loans in their life. They have repaid and like they do not have any write house They do not have like any overdue. Okay, uh, madam, just, just a second. Uh, I, I'm just uh, interjecting here. So, uh, and because we are just, we will just go into, as you were explaining the, the seasoning and the pool that we are talking about here, we'll just go into the details for, for that, for our investors, but just wrapping your, uh, advice on how the PTC structure or the securitized st structure for our investors, you are investing into a seasoned pool of borrowings and not the, not on the overall company or not on the exposure where I think madam also explained how previous performance can be a leading indicator for the future performance, but that may not be true. Turning to Sid now in the interest of time, Sid, can you just walk, walk us through, through the opportunity that we have on our hands? Yeah, definitely. And thanks. Thanks, uh, Webhav um, and, and ma'am, once again to you for joining this webinar with us and to all our investors uh, this evening. Uh, very quickly, our first Lonex opportunity is a 20 crore opportunity by Kirtana, of course, as you as you're aware now, it's a it's a 17 months expected tenure. Uh, it's rated A minus by by Crystal, uh, and uh, we are expect we expect to have uh, an IRR of 13 uh, percent or yield to maturity of 13 uh, percent through the 17 month period. Uh, there is going to be a monthly investor payout of both principal as well as interest, uh, and as ma'am clarified just a short while back, uh, the pool is incredibly well diversified with more than 25, uh, nearly 2,500 uh, borrowers. Uh, we, you know, Nikhil spoke about uh, some of the security features earlier, uh, over collateralization, that's 10.7%. Uh, for this pool, uh, cash collateral uh, is 5%, and, uh, and the excess interest spread is close to 15.5%. And really the way to think about these three pieces is, you know, over collateralization is uh, essentially Kitana's skin in the game or for their alignment of interest, uh, the, you know, the investors will get paid out first, the grip investors, and then, uh, then Kitana will get paid out of those pools uh, of loans. Uh, uh, that's the, that's 10.7% over collateralization. The cash collateral is almost like akin to our, you know, think of it as a cash security deposit that we have in our LEASEX transaction that you're very familiar with. Uh, and that's available to ensure there are no short, uh, there are no shortfalls in payments. And then the excess interest spread is the NIM, which ma'am spoke about a, a short while back as well. Uh, and again, this is, you know, uh, you know, this is again to cover any shortfalls on an ongoing basis, if at all there are any. Uh, or there are any defaults, uh, it sort of helps cover those defaults and make sure that the PTCs are paid out in, in, in good time. We spoke about the pool uh, uh, again a bit earlier. I think we, we have already, you know, uh, Ma'am has spoken a fair bit about this. Nearly 2,500 borrowers, uh, the least civil score is 650. Uh, you know, nearly 70%, 75% of the pool is uh, between 650 and 750 civil score. Uh, there are four, uh, uh, there are three states, 18 districts. Uh, the loans have been utilized by the borrowers for a, for a whole host of purposes uh, from, you know, buying assets, home assets to agri, to manufacturing, to, uh, to trading. And, and, and then the exposure of, uh, of uh, the borrower, the demographics is highly uh, skewed towards female borrowers. There are enough studies, and you know that that show that uh, when in you know in such pools, uh, uh, women borrowers tend to perform much better than than their male counterparts, and, and we'll be happy to share some data with our investors around that as well. Uh, this is a quick visualization of of returns. Uh, so as you will see, this is a 17 month uh, expected payout schedule uh, for a three lakh minimum investment amount. Uh, there is, you know, after the, you'll see that in the, on the table on the left-hand side, every month there's a principal and uh, interest payout. Uh, there is, you know, after the 13th month, your investment is entirely, is fully secured. 
uh, between what's already been paid uh, to the investor and and what's the outstanding security packages the investment is uh, fully secured uh, and you will see on the right the the last column which says oc plus cc percentage as the pool starts paying out and there are no defaults the security package in the pool continues to increase so initially it was 15.7% which was nothing but 10.7% of oc and 5% of cc and over a period of time it, it swells up all the way to 50 70% uh, which is understandable um so because of the, the occc is not being dipped into and the and the underlying borrowers are paying on time uh so it's it's you know in our view as the especially as this instrument matures it, it becomes incredibly attractive to uh to hold, to continue to hold it a quick uh, you know what we see as as risks and and the mitigants obviously the the you know the most uh, uh important risk is that there could be a delay in interest uh, or loan repayments and then of, of course there could also be a, ultimately a default in those in those loans uh there is a you know we we think that the mitigants are are pretty strong there is there are close to 2500 borrowers and and hence uh you know for every 1 lakh of investment you are only investing rupees 40 per loan right so it's it's incredibly well uh diversified there is an extra interest uh spread uh extra interest spread in the pool that we spoke about a little bit earlier 15. close to 15.5% so delay in up to 45% of the interest payments can be supported by the excess interest spread alone uh and then there is a you know default given the fact that there is an occc default of close to 16% in the pool will still be covered by the ocn cc that's available uh for the uh from the uh, from the originator uh, so it's 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 the risks are pretty well mitigated and somewhere this also shows up in uh the rating of the of the instrument itself the instrument is as, as we mentioned earlier is rate, rated a minus by crystal kirtana on the other hand is rated triple b and given the these security measures in the pool the the pool ends up getting a higher rating than the originator in, itself this also answers one of the questions uh, that were asked from the the qna how is this different from p2p the security package and and presence of a of a of an originator investment grade rated originator like kirtana are the two biggest uh, uh, differentiators to you know p2p we would not even want to idly put them in the same bucket i mean this is regulated through rbi sebi as well and and p2p doesn't have any of those features um so it's a while at 10000 feet view it might seem like you are giving loans to a number of borrowers but the instruments are actually very different uh, both in terms of security as well as the regulations they are uh, that they are for that they follow yeah so and just for everybody uh, uh, what siddharth was saying one of the question in the question box was how is this different from p2p financing and who bears the risk of bad debts so uh, that's what the reference was on okay before we go into more questions can we also just have a look at uh, and like we spoke about it in bits and pieces but how do how how is lonex different from let's say kirtana bonds and we spoke about in you know ma madam spoke about it nikhil spoke about it but i think said if you could just wrap in in a more structured fashion that will be great yeah definitely so uh look ultimately as as ma'am and nikhil explained earlier uh you know bonds are issued they're all on balance sheet loans for a, for an nbfc for an originator and uh and uh you know ptcs are are essentially securitization of of a pool of loans and they are uh, you know quote and quote off balance sheet so to say and the pool of loans are selected by uh, by the investor in this case by grip um uh, uh with an identified criteria that that follows grips own criteria as well as criteria laid down by uh, laid down by rbi um so so i think that itself is a is a bit different shade in both the cases uh, of course kirtana is the is the uh, originator um uh, which is that's that's a uh, that's a common uh, factor uh the you know the third is the security package uh, while in 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 a bond uh you have access to all the assets uh of an originator's books uh 
you're, you're also, you know, you're also pari basu or, or at par with a number of other lenders to that originator. Uh, in in loanx or in securitization transactions, you carve out your own pool of loans and you are the only beneficiary of that. As a lender, you are the only beneficiary of that uh, pool of loans. Uh, and then the security packets that's available of OCCC and, and excess interest spread, that's available only to the investor of that particular uh, pool of loans. Uh, uh, so there is no commingling risk. There is no, you know, you're not sitting in line along with other, uh, uh, other lenders. Uh, if you go down a bit uh, again. Uh, so again, in, in terms of governance, uh, both NCDs as well as uh, 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 securitizations, you know, uh, have, there are default, uh, uh, outcomes, there are events of default, there are cure periods, there are, you know, and what can happen with those events of defaults. Sometimes, in, in most cases, there is an early amortization of the instrument itself that uh, that kicks in. Uh, uh, but both the, uh, the covenants in, in some ways are very similar uh, in both the, both the instruments. Uh, we spoke about investors' exposure, uh, as I said earlier, that, you know, in NCDs, you have the exposure to the entire loan book. Uh, of the in a way of the originator, whereas in, in PTCs it's only it's only the pool of loans that you are investing in, um, and then you know lastly in 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 bankruptcy, uh, which are which is obviously a draconian scenario, but something that 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 we should not uh, be entirely uh, we should not not talk about uh, in NCDs or you know bankruptcy is uh, you'll be at par with other other lenders, um, uh, whereas in in securitization transactions. Again, you know, you don't have any recourse to the originator itself. The originator has already given a security package to begin with, and you are uh, your fortunes are linked to a predetermined pool of loans uh, as well as the security package um, uh, that the that the pool has. Uh, I think those were some of the key uh, uh, differences. Uh, you know, there are some questions around uh, what is exactly the difference between Kizana bond and a Kizana PDC. Just for uh, Ma'am's reference, we have already been selling Kirtana Bond on our platform uh, for the past few weeks. So our, our users are familiar with Kirtana as well. Uh, and we will be, you know, while we've spoken about these broad differences between bonds and securitization, we will also put out uh, something that's a bit more granular uh, that, that compares the bond versus the uh, secure, the, the PDC of the, uh, from Kirtana. Uh, and just quickly in terms of commercials, uh, you know, investor payout frequency uh, for these two particular, you know, for the Kirtana bond and Kirtana, uh, uh, Kirtana PTC is, is the same. It's, you, you get paid out monthly. Uh, generally, bonds can have a varying payout frequency. Uh, it can be monthly, quarterly. Principal can be back-ended. PTCs usually pay monthly uh, principal and interest back to the investors. Uh, usually, the you come into the tenure, usually PTCs have a 12 to 24-month tenure. Uh, door to door, our PTC here is 17 months. Uh, bonds tend to be a bit more long term in nature, more like two to five years. Uh, in, in most instances, uh, the PTCs that we're looking at, because they're rated higher than the underlying bonds, uh, they're also, you know, they also have a slightly lower reward. They would typically be in the range of 10 to 13 percent, whereas bonds could be in the range of 9 to uh, uh, 14 percent. Um, and then the PTCs that we expect to bring to the platform could, any, could be rated anywhere between triple B to A plus, uh, whereas the bonds that we bring to the platform are, are rated anywhere between triple B minus and A plus. But both both investment grade and and in both the cases, the originator of course is investment grade, uh, which is important. Maybe just uh, just to add to what Sadat said, I, I think that they're both very interesting products uh, as a fixed income option for investors. Grip obviously. Me, is making both available. We've had corporate bonds on our platform for over a year, and we are now introducing loan X. I think the idea is to provide you with choice. Uh, what the key difference that stands out is the ability to to ring fence or to limit your exposure to a very specific pool, which is curated and provided with a security package. I think that's the big difference that stands out between a PTC and an and an NCD. This results in the PTC or loan X uh, often getting better rated than the NCD and because of the structuring become a better risk reward. Um, some of the other factors, obviously, uh, Sidesto spoken about 
and you should look at as you look at the various deal opportunities. Weber, back to you. Yeah, thank you so much for that wrap up. And before I go into question and answers from my investors, I just have one more question for 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 Madam. Uh, so this Lonex pool has ninety eight percent female borrowers. Do you, like is there something comforting about it? How do you look at the skew between female versus male borrowers? Um, it's a deliberate choice that we have made. Uh, so basically, like loans are uh, given to households. But again, we 99.9% uh, .9 of the cases, like we make sure that uh, borrower technically is the female person. Uh, so for example, like if there is a delinquency, I often uh, hear from my loan officer saying that as long as borrower is there, like we will be able to collect the instrument. It's only like if the borrower is not available, then like it becomes very difficult. Number one, like because women, so they are always available at home. Uh, so they don't just run away. And then and, and again, like they're more responsible. It's easy to deal with them. It's easy to organize them. And like they understand like uh, the value system, ethics, and uh, these things, like it's proven, right? Uh, microfinance in India is now like almost 30 years old. And out there, like it's a hundred percent of the borrowers are women. Uh, so while like there are many changes that have taken place uh, in terms of how microfinance is done, but like this one aspect has not changed. There is no microfinance like somebody has started for men. So it continues to be women because uh, they have proven time and again that like they are the best borrowers. Uh, so the value system is very very strong. And then and again, like they don't forget we, and and utilization of loan. For example, like if you give a loan of ten thousand to a man, I think at least like uh, he will spend like part of that money for liquor or, or whatever, whatever. But like when the loan amount is given for a lady, she will end up like using that money for the family, for children, for their education, or like for her income generation activity. So loan utilization, like you can be rest assured that you don't have to worry that like uh, whether she has used a loan to buy a buffalo or she has used a loan to buy a sari or like uh, some gold ornaments. She always makes sure that like the loan is properly utilized for the purpose that she has borrowed. So it's a deliberate choice. And even the 2%, I think uh, it's only like if uh, uh, the female person in the household, like she is not there, but like she's working somewhere else. And technically we could not put her as a borrower. And only in very few cases, like we have uh, uh, male uh, members as borrowers. It's a deliberate choice for uh, obvious reasons. Yeah, I think there is there is also a big angle of social development here, but I think that's a topic for another day. And while we are on this slide, uh, there's a question that though the loans are diversified across the four states, but they are still, uh, you know, concentrated in in Andhra Pradesh. Any like Nikhil, Siddharth or Madam, if you would like to take. Yeah, it. yeah. So, uh, like at, at this point in time, like most of the branches are in Andhra. Uh, but again, if you see that, like Andhra has like three different uh, parts: uh, the coastal, Royal Sima, and also uh, like earlier, of course, the Langana, like you know, which is a different state altogether. Uh, so within the state, like we have diversified across the districts. And, 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 and again, uh, so there is so much of white space that is available uh, for lending in Andhra and Telangana. So 2010, like there was a crisis post which like most of the MFIs have withdrawn uh, business. And subsequent to that, like AP has proven to be the best market. Uh, so during demonetization post Corona, uh, AP had 100% on time recovery, while like some of the states, they had losses up to 10%, 15%. Uh, so again, like this is a deliberate choice. I think like one thing that I have not uh, mentioned in my intro is uh, like this particular company, Kitana, uh, like I have 99.9% .9 stake in the company. And so far, like I have infused 190 crore in this company. Um, so which means like it's not that like I have skin in the game, but like I have everything in the game. So whatever the money that like I have earned uh, in my last 24 years, I ended up like uh, investing all that money here. But again, after having said that, like it's a deliberate choice that I have made because like to my surprise, uh, post Corona, while like all other states, be it Karnataka, MP, Varisa, 
they have taken their own time, almost like one to two years to come back to 100% collection efficiency. Andhra and Telangana, these two states, uh, so in no time, like uh, just after two months, like we were able to get a uh, 100% collection efficiency because like the number of players are very few, very few. And women in these two states are like very dynamic, very enterprising. And uh, the GDP and per capita in, in these two states is very high. And like uh, the employees that we get like from the, these two states, uh, so they're like very disciplined, very loyal, and like they're very well trained in terms of uh, um, working with this particular segment. Uh, so it was a deliberate choice that we have made in terms of- uh, so, Madam, another question, uh, portfolio coming in. So I would just take the portfolio questions first. Uh, uh, how are we ensuring that this portfolio is a good one? Since you are also securitizing it with other banks, so who gets the first choice? How, is there a difference between risk of the pools, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? Uh, so basically, like the investor, each investor will have a different criteria altogether. But again, uh, despite that, like uh, here, what is this? This is seasoned portfolio, which means like uh, by the time we are assigning this, or like we are securitizing this the borrower has paid like four or five installments. And historically, like a, a problematic borrower will start creating problem like in the second, third month itself. So if somebody has already paid, so then like she's not a problematic. And, and, and again, like have, while uh, all these borrowers have 650, that itself says that while like they might have taken first loan or second loan or third loan from Kitana, but like they have taken 20 other loans and they repaid well on time. Uh, so I think from that particular perspective, uh, so while like uh, we have done three securitization transactions and so far like we have securitized 60 crore, but this 60 crore is selected from 800 crore. Got it. So, yeah, it has fulfilled like uh, all the major criteria, be it in terms of diversification, be it in terms of like seasonality, be it in terms of rating. And, and, and again, like you mentioned in your uh, explanation that uh, while like Kitana has triple B uh, rating, like overall, but like this particular pool has like a two notches higher rating. Why? Because like I this pool just, is yeah, I just the best to... of the best. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I just wanted to touch upon that. So, uh, Kirtana bonds or Kirtana is a triple B rate, trip, uh, has got a triple B rating. But since this pool is seasoned enough, and Madam and Siddharth, everybody has talking has spoken about it a lot. So, this is two notches higher rated. And I will just take this another question. Uh, so, VV is asking, what's the coupon offered on the SDI for this? So, thirteen percent is the coupon for loan X investor. I think pretty pretty good risk reward on this. But Sorry, 30% is the, is the IRR. Sorry, 13% 13 is the IRR. And, but more importantly, I just want to take the second part of the question, Siddharth. What is the weighted average coupon of the underlying loans? And who is getting, who is getting paid the excess spread, which is sure. the weighted average minus the bond IRR? So, sure. goes back to our security package. So, can you just repeat it? Yeah, definitely. So, so the investors get uh, close to 13%, uh, you know, they, they're supposed to get 13% IRR. Uh, there is a, uh, the underlying loans themselves are, are in late twenties, uh, uh, coupon. And essentially that, that 15 and a half of excess interest spread that we spoke about a bit earlier, that excess interest spread is available to ensure that any shortfalls or delays in the pool payouts in the principal and interest payouts are met towards uh, that excess interest spread is utilized towards ensuring there's a timely payment of principal and interest. So any shortfalls are, are taken care of. In the end, whatever excess interest spread is left uh, after the investors are completely paid out belongs to the originator, i.e. it belongs to uh, Kirtana. All right, great. Uh, moving on to the next question. Uh, so Harpeet is asking what is the minimum investment per part participant and is it is the complete payout schedule available on grip website so here i just want to say i think we have gotten maybe like a week delayed on this webinar but this opportunity has been live on grips platform for a week uh has got tremendous 
uh, response and i think almost 25 or 30 percent of the opportunity is already subscribed so coming back to your question harpit yeah uh, the entire opportunity payout schedule the uh, the documentation is available on the website right now and uh, minimum investment for a participant is uh, is 2 lakhs but it could be 2 lakhs in some change i don't know nikhil do you have the number of your i, I think it's currently 2 lakh 5000 um, but yeah it's it's broadly 2 lakh rupees yeah uh, Venkateshwar, Venkatesh Kumar is asking, what is the reason to get triple B from Crystal? The question is not fully clear, but I would just say that the triple B rating is for Kirtana NBFC, while the instrument is rated A plus. Um, Nikhil, question for you: How much spread is Grip making from this transaction? I was wondering if you'd leave the hardest questions for me. Uh, so I thought I thought I could skip this question, but then I am working on the behalf of our investors, so I have to ask. No, him. I think I think it's a conversation we've always been very transparent with. Uh, it's covered in our FAQs. I think um, uh, let me answer it more generically as well. We typically, you know, as a as grip, we typically make one percent annualized on the transaction uh, as a fees. Uh, and that's it, that would be in the range of what we are what we would make here as well. Um, I I do think that we are very cautious of the risk reward that the investor is having, and hence uh, benchmark the returns for any product to that of other similarly rated products. For this A minus rated paper, we would look at the other A minus rated papers, and ensure that investors are earning actually in this case almost 300 basis points or 3% higher, 3% uh, as a spread higher than other A minus rated papers. And um, I think that's something that we are very focused on before we get to how much grip is able to make from the transaction. Understood. Um, I think we have covered all the questions. Let me know if I've not covered any of the questions. Uh, we are dot on time at six, but maybe one more question for uh, for uh, for madam and maybe Nikhil, you also want to chime in. You can. Securitization is not a new industry. I think the 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 numbers say about 1.8 lakh crores uh, of such receivables are being securitized. So, uh, madam, and you have seen this through and through over decades. How how's the performance been? What's the experience with PTCs and securitization structure as a whole? for finance veterans like you, uh, just general perspective on that. Uh, I think uh, uh, if you look at the credit losses, uh, so the pool that we have securitized uh, through grip, uh, they are MSME loans, they are individual loans. Uh, so wherein like cash flow analysis is done and again the bureau check is done. And uh, after making sure that like they have an excellent track record, these loans are given. So in these loans, like where you have done cash flow analysis and there is a track, so the credit losses are uh, between like one to three percent in a normal scenario. But here I would like to stress that uh, the investors, uh, so in the form of uh, cash deposit and over collateral, uh, so like you have almost like a fifteen to twenty percent kind of security, while the credit losses are three percent. Which means like because the guarantee that you are getting is like to the extent of 100%. Uh, so uh, like right now, like for the securitization, uh, there is a new instrument like which is called the A, like which is, uh, and uh, in that like there is no security that uh, uh, we can give. But here like in the PTC, uh, so in the form of over collateralization, cash collateral, EIS, I think the investors are fully, fully protected. And the way that like we price these products, like as we are getting uh, almost like 25, 26% yield, since our credit losses are 3%, like we are still getting 6% uh, return on the ROA. So which means like uh, investors have 100% guarantee of the credit losses. All right. And, and, and again, uh, so far, at least like uh, I have never heard uh, any of the microfinance organization or like any of the NDFC, which has defaulted the PTC. Uh, so, yeah, 
I, I think the only thing I would add is, um, you know, very core to Grip's vision is that this entire securitization market has been restricted to only a hundred investors the last year. Only hundred institutional investors could participate in this market and and invest in this one point eight lakh crores. Grip's vision has been to make all these institutional products available for an individual investor with the kind of securitization, the kind of um, originators like Kitana, like Ma'am here. I think we're very excited to be bringing this away from just those hundred people to all investors that can participate. Uh, the ambition will be to keep reducing the ticket size from even three lakh to smaller, all within the compliance of SEBI and RBI. But I think that is really the power of this PTC product. Okay, great. Uh, we are running out of time now, so I'll not let everybody uh, holding back. Uh, uh, you, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your relationship managers. Uh, thank you for joining in again. Uh, another Saturday, and we'll come back with another new product soon. Um, yeah, any parting thoughts? Otherwise, we'll wrap the session now. No, just a big thank you to ma'am uh, and uh, for being on this webinar and for partnering with Grip on creating the first known X. It's truly been a privilege and we look forward to doing more work with, with your organization, ma'am. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Thank you very much for making me part of this. Thank and thank you. you for everyone who's logged in uh, and listened to the webinar. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks, Ignit. Yeah, yeah, just a quick preview. You know, we do have a second no next opportunity in the coming week. Um, uh, so do keep an eye out for that. And, and we'll be speaking very soon about that as well.